Welcome to the second edition of Trucking by the Numbers. I'm Tom Bell, the Midlife Trucker. This is where I share with you my journey and my compensation as a lease operator at Christensen Transportation. I've done this type of series when I was at Millis Transfer, and I also did it when I was at Cheeseman LLC. Both of those are excellent companies. I think Millis Transfer is the best training company that you could possibly go to. Cheeseman LLC is the best LTL OTR freight that you will ever find for a company. They have the greatest culture, and culture is very important. Now I wanted to try lease because it was the next step on my journey. And we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna look at that second week's compensation coming up. Jumping right into that first load, it was from Atlanta, Georgia to Goodlettsville, Tennessee. There were 70 empty miles for $25, 261 loaded miles for $326, a fuel rebate of $144, and a market surcharge of $15.66, and $100 of detention. Overall, the load paid $611.77, or $234 per loaded mile. The second load was from Bloomfield, Missouri to Brookshire, Texas. 227 empty miles for $221, 697 loaded miles for $871, fuel rebate was $386, market surcharge $41, and there was $70 of detention. That comes to $1591 or $228 per loaded mile. Okay, load number three went from Grapevine, Texas to Atlanta, Georgia. There were 294 empty miles for $305, 808 loaded miles for $1010. Fuel rebate was $444. Market surcharge was $4848. These look like some lottery play in numbers. And there was $65 of detention. The load paid $1872 or $232 per loaded mile. Fourth load of the week went from Atlanta, Georgia to Lebanon, Tennessee. There were zero empty miles, 249 loaded miles for $311. Fuel rebate was $136. Market surcharge was $14. The load paid $463 or $1.86 per loaded mile. This week, there was actually a fifth load, and that one went from Lebanon, Tennessee to Lexington, Kentucky. There's zero empty miles, 201 loaded miles for $251.25. The fuel rebate was $110. The market surcharge $12.06. The load paid $373, and it was $1.86 per loaded mile. This week, I had three fuels. Use the company card for all three, so they do show up in my pay statements. I had Calhoun Georgia Loves, Waller Texas Loves, and Waco Georgia Loves. Using our fuel card, the Waco Georgia Loves tends to be the cheapest, and Calhoun Georgia tends to be the second cheapest. As you can see from the numbers, there's some pretty good discounts this week. 78.1 cents, 98.3 cents and 96.7 cents per gallon. Fuel is one of those things that's really hard to confine the expense to one week because you don't necessarily end your tanks at the same level that you begin your week at. This week just couldn't seem to get going. As you notice, there's a lot of short miles days. There was detention pay on the first three loads. That had resulted in a lot more time in the sleeper berth than I'm used to. I like to go, 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 but it is what it is. Now, hold on. Hold the phone, Tom. 2,807 miles dispatched, but 3,162 put on the odometer. This is what happens when you go home. Remember, last week I, I went home from Honeopath, South Carolina, and this week I started out from home. So, those home miles are not dispatched miles. That's one of the wonderful things about lease drivers. We pay to go home. Now is the time for the fixed expenses. As we know with the word fixed expenses, they're fixed. They're the same every week. This part's not going to change. Got the performance bond escrow and the security deposit. And if you notice, the two sign-off bonuses offset those. My tractor lease is a 43 cent per mile full maintenance lease. Came to 2,807 miles this week, $1,207.01. It's time for my favorite page, the summary page. There's five loads this week. 591 empty miles, 2,216 loaded miles, 2,807 total miles. That's 78.9% loaded. 
That's a little more deadhead than I like, but it'll work out. 561 miles average. Empty miles paid $551. Loaded miles paid $2770. Detention was $235. Market surcharge $132. Fuel rebate, $12.23, and the sign-on bonus, $150. That brings total revenue to $5,062.81. Expenses, we had $1,207 on the variable lease, $226 for fixed expenses, $18.16 for diesel fuel, $86 for DEF, $150 in deposits, and $2.25 in fees for using the Com Data card. That comes to a total of $3,489.66 in expenses. My net this week was $1,573.15. Now keep in mind, these are my pay statements. This is my journey in trucking. Your mileage will vary and how you run your business will, will vary. This is running a business. This isn't just driving a truck. I choose to go home every single week. Could I make more money if I stayed out? I'm sure I could. But how we each choose to run our business is by based on what we choose as priorities. Keep that in mind as you watch this series of video and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow so that you can keep up with my journey and follow my content. And remember, make sure you're enjoying every day at work.